Yeah, Steve, Airbnb, they're branding it as an opportunity for renters just to be able to afford the cost of renting. And they also say it's an opportunity for them to take advantage of something the platform currently favors, and that's homeowners. A bit of welcome news coming today to some apartment renters in Raleigh and Durham. According to Airbnb, residents at three separate apartment complexes can now list their apartment for rent on the platform. I have no problem with it at all. Um, whatever they want to do with their property is up to them. Alex Hogan lives at the Marlow Lake Boone and has no plans of renting out his apartment. Personally, I would not. Um, but, you know, if, uh, if the opportunity arose, then, you know, maybe I would. The Marlow, Collins at Wakefield, and Havana on Broad in Durham, all owned by Graystar, are participating in allowing their tenants to open their apartments up to strangers on the site. So I went door to door, asking residents how they felt. That's when I ran into Kaylin Pill. I don't think I would mind unless there started to be like an issue and it started to become a pattern where maybe there was like loud noises or like in the middle of the night, but other than that, I feel like I would feel comfortable. According to the city of Raleigh's short term rental rules for any multi unit living use, no more than 25% or two dwelling units, whichever is greater, may be used for short term rental in any single building, which Airbnb says the city of Raleigh must regulate, not Graystar. Tenants at the Marlowe stand to make anywhere from $578 a month to nearly $1,250 a month. Does that sound enticing? It does sound enticing. I might, uh, yeah, I might be uh, a little more open to it uh, now that I've seen the numbers. And I've spoken with a Raleigh City Council member, and they say this is not what the City Council had in mind when they envisioned these short-term uh, rental regulations just a few years ago. They say they plan to take what Airbnb is doing now back up to the City Council just to review what's happening because they did not consider it this way when they first came out with the regulations because they didn't think that apartment renters here could actually sublet their apartment and participate in a program like this. We're live in Raleigh tonight. Dwan Hogart, MS11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, subletting is sometimes uh, banned on those leases that you sign, so we can understand that. Dewan, thank you.